Hello dear students. Today we will learn about units and measurements part 2. We will discuss all the important concepts and dimensions. As we know that physics is branch of science which deals with the study of matter, energy and interaction between them. Physics is a quantitative science based on measurement of physical quantities. Certain physical quantities have been chosen as fundamental or base quantities. When we see the example of marathon run, if we say that the player run 50 and time taken 5. Do you understand what is 50 and 5? We don't understand the meaning of 50 or 5. Students, we don't understand how much distance covered or time taken to run. In the previous video, we have studied about units and measurement. In that lecture, we have also studied about the fundamental units. There are seven physical quantities which have the fundamental units as shown in this slide. The seven quantities are length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, luminous intensity and amount of substance. There are two supplementary units. First is plane angle and the second is solid angle. The units are called as the fundamental units. We have also studied the derived quantities and derived units. The physical quantities which depend on one or more fundamental quantities for their measurements are called derived quantities. The examples are shown in this slide. First example is area, second is volume, density, velocity, acceleration and work. The formulas are given in this slide and the derived units are also mentioned here. In the previous lecture, we have studied the system of units. CGS system in which length is in centimeter, mass is in gram, time in second. While in MKS system, length is in meter, mass in kilogram and time in second. FPS system, length is in foot, mass in pound and time in second. In this slide, we can see the international system of units that is SI system. Kelvin for temperature, meter for distance, ampere for electric current, second for time, mole for amount of substance, kilogram for mass and candela for intensity of light. The SI prefixes are shown in this slide. As an engineer, we should be able to convert the units of same quantity in different systems and forms. The CGPM recommended standard prefixes of multiples and submultiples of units are as shown in the slide. The entire SI system consists of units which are multiples and submultiples of MKS units in steps of 10 raised to 3 or 10 raised to minus 3. Now we will study what are the dimensions and the dimensional formula. Dimensions of physical quantity are the powers to which fundamental units must be raised to obtain the unit of a given physical quantity. All the physical quantities can be derived from the fundamental or the base quantities. 
when a physical quantity is represented in terms of the base quantities it can be represented as a product of different powers of the base quantities so what is dimension the exponent of a base quantity which enters into the expression is called dimension of the quantity in that base now what is dimensional formula or the equation an equation which gives the relation between fundamental units and derived units in terms of dimensions is called dimensional formula or dimensional equation let us see the examples of dimensional formula equation first example is for area we know the formula for area area is equal to length into breadth so area is equal to length into length is equal to l into l so area is equal to l2 the dimension is shown in a square bracket so why we are using l m and t in mechanics the length mass and time are taken as three base dimensions and are represented by letters l m and t respectively the dimensional formula for area as we have derived as l2 it is written as in square bracket l2 m0 t0 m0 means mass is 0 time is 0 thus l2 m0 t0 is called dimensional formula for area in square bracket raised to 2 raised to 0 raised to 0 are called dimensions thus dimensions of area are 2 in length 0 in mass and 0 in time now see the second example we will derive the dimensional formula for speed we know the formula for speed speed is equal to distance upon time so it is equal to length upon time so the dimension of length is l1 m0 t0 dimension for time is l0 m0 t1 so it is equal to l1 m0 t raised to minus 1 the third example is dimensional formula for density as you know that density is equal to mass divided by volume so mass divided by volume is equal to mass divided by length into breadth into height you know that the volume the formula for volume is length into breadth into height so density is equal to mass upon length into length into length so the dimensional formula for density is l minus 3 m1 and t0 thus l raised to minus 3 m raised to 1 and t raised to 0 is the dimensional formula for density and minus 3 1 0 0 are dimensions of density that is dimensions of density are minus 3 in length 1 in mass and 0 in time the formula distance upon time divided by time so length upon time upon time the dimensions for acceleration are l1 m0 and t minus 2 to see the next example dimensional formula for force we have force is equal to mass into acceleration force is equal to mass into acceleration is equal to 
मास इनटू वेलोसिटी अपॉन टाइम बिकॉज एक्सीलरेशन इज इक्वल टू वेलोसिटी अपॉन टाइम सो पुटिंग ऑल दिस फॉर्मुलाज वी गेट द डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला फॉर फोर्स फोर्स द डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला इज एल वन एम वन एंड टी माइनस टू नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज प्रेशर प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू फोर्स अपॉन एरिया प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू मास इंटू एक्सीलरेशन अपॉन एरिया सो पुटिंग द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर एक्सीलरेशन एंड एरिया वी गेट मास इंटू वेलॉसिटी डिवाइडेड बाय लेंथ इंटू ब्रेड इंटू टाइम सो पुटिंग ऑल द डायमेंशन फॉर मास डिस्टेंस टाइम एंड लेंथ वी गेट द डायमेंशनल फॉर्म्यूला फॉर प्रेशर एज एल माइनस वन एम वन एंड टी माइनस टू to see the example of work work done is equal to force into displacement so work is equal to mass into acceleration into distance as we know the formula for force that is mass into acceleration and the formula for acceleration is velocity upon time so putting all these formulas we get work is equal to mass into distance upon time into distance upon time so putting the dimensions we get final dimensional formula for work as l2 m1 and t minus 2 next example is kinetic energy formula for kinetic energy is half into mass into velocity square so kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 into m into distance square upon time square while assigning dimensions constants like 1 by 2 is not considered hence the dimensions are kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 into mass into length square upon time square so finally we get kinetic energy dimensions l minus 1 m1 and t minus 2 we will summarize the dimensions of physical quantity first physical quantity length formula or relation length dimensional formula as it is length we will write l1 m0 and t0 second example mass formula mass so the dimensional formula l is 0 as it is mass m is 1 and t is 0 third example time formula time dimensional formula l0 m0 t1 as it is time we will write t as 1 example 4 area length into breadth in terms of length we will write as length into length so dimensional formula is l2 because length into length so l2 m0 no mass and t0 no time so in this way for area we write the dimensional formula as l2 m0 t0 example 5 volume the formula for volume is length into breadth into height so in terms of length we will write length into length into length so the dimensional formula is length three times so l raised to 3 m raised to 0 and t raised to 0 okay next example density formula is 
mass upon volume so dimensional formula is l minus 3 m 1 and t 0 speed formula is distance upon time dimensional formula is l 1 m 0 t minus 1 and for power we have determined the dimensional formula as l 2 m 1 t minus 